everybody, Jesse here from jessiebanks.com and welcome back to another video. Ignore my nails, I was painting, um, but yeah. I have joined the Magnolia Licious design team, um, you'll see my first project in September, but I did just get in my first package. Now some of this I purchased, some of this was for design team, so it's a little bit of both, but it's all from the same store. So I'm just going to run through it for, with you guys. I got a bunch of the foam moran, I'm not sure if I'm saying that correctly foam for making those beautiful flowers that everybody's been doing and I really want to do. So I've got a bunch of colors here. There's a red and a dark green and a light green and like a crayon green is what I would call it. They're awesome though. There's like a minty color and a really light teal and a couple of blues and a purple and a pink and a nice bright yellow and a cream. So I'm excited to play with these. I'm going to play some ink and I have a bunch of flower dyes and things. I used to do tons of paper flowers, so I'm pretty excited to play with these. I'll pull out my iron and see what I come up with. I'll record some videos if I manage to make really pretty things, but I want to play with it a little bit first. But in going along with this, over at the Magnolia Licious store, they also have a bunch of stamens, so I'll run through a bunch of the colors they sent me. Um, there's a whole ton here, and they've got the numbers on them, so they'll be easy for you guys to find. I'm just going to zoom in a little. That was weird, I hit the wrong button. Anyway, I'm just gonna zoom in a little bit here so that it's easier to show you guys these things. So this one is number 12 and it's a beautiful like peachy color. And then I have number seven, which is like a baby pink. This one is number 21, which is like a minty blue. And they're shiny, these are like shimmery, they've got a finish to them, they're really pretty. Um, number 28, and this is like a brownie, I know it's showing up really lilac-y, but it's not, it's like a brownie purple type color. I really enjoy it. I think it's beautiful. It's probably my favorite color out of the lot. Um, then there is like a Christmas red, which is number 10. A bright purple, which is number 29. It looks blue on, ca on my camera, but it's purple. Purples are always hard. Com cameras seem to not like it. Whites are number one. These are all so pretty. I love stamens. Um, a hot pink, which is number nine. This is like a champagne cream color, which is number three. Uh, just like a Christmas green, a regular like bright green color, number 20. A yellow, which is number 16. Um, uh, so these are a little bit different. So this one I would consider a hot pink. This one's more of a fuchsia, so this is eight and nine. So you can see the color difference there. And then black ones, which are number 35. They're also gorgeous. I love playing with stamens. And then they've also got in these foam balls. So these are really cool. Um, let me unroll a bag just here so that they're easier to see the color of. So this one has like purples and pinks in it. It's really pretty. It is num it is D. So I'm going to say there's an A, B, C, D because I have four of them here. So there's that pinky purple and pink combination, which is D. And then there is like a canary yellow one, which is A. I love that they're all different sizes. These are going to be super fun. And a dark purple one, which is, they almost look shiny. They almost look shimmery in person. So it's like a gray and a purple, and that is B. And then the brown one, which is C. And I really, really like when you get colors like these, because they pop really well against super bright flowers and things of that nature. And then they sent me a sampling of paper. I do believe these are Maja papers, Maja papers, my I don't know how to say it. But they're gorgeous papers and I have a whole bunch of them downstairs. But, so, there's some paper for me to play with. Which is going to be awesome because I like paper. <laughs> and I like everything. I'm, I'm just a regular must-have-it-all type person. So, that's super awesome. Thank you so much for that. Then we're going to get into the stamps here. Um, a few of these I purchased. A few of these are, again, for design team. So I got... These are from the Country Girl Collection. So it was like there's... It's your birthdays just coming out now, but Country Girl came just before it. So this one is huge. Like, it, it's huge, you guys. Like, it's, it's massive. I know that I zoomed out. Hang on. Let's do this. There. It's huge. It's huge. But it is called Grandpa's Porch, and I love it. That gives you guys a better idea. So it's like steps. And then there's the side that comes up, so it's a porch. I think it's absolutely beautiful. 
beautiful. And then I got two more that aren't in the like aren't little pebbles. So we'll do this one. This one is the branch. So it is called swinging or swing branch, which goes along with this one, which is called happy swing. I know I there's the swing itself, but it is called happy swing. So I'm gonna put the swing on the tree branch. Get it? Yeah. I'm so excited. So excited. I haven't played with Magnolia stamps in quite a while. I have a big collection of them and I'm just thrilled to play with them lots again. I'm so happy that they asked me to join their team. It's it's an honor. So this one is called Tilda with Flowers in Her Pocket. Isn't she cute? I love these. They're absolutely adorable. She's got flowers in her pocket. Well, of course, just like the name says, Jessie. Come on now. <laughs> but I got her. And this one is called Porch Tilda, so she is sitting. Of course, she is probably designed to go with Grandpa's porch, but you can put her on the swing as well. So there's her. And then there is Country Tilda. So she is sitting with her little legs crossed. She's got her little legs together. It's so cute. So cute. Oh, I'm just thrilled. Um, this one is called Sitting Tilda with Clogs. So she's sitting and she's got her shoes on. I think she's, I think they're all adorable. I love them all. So that is everything I got from Magnolia Licious. I will definitely have their link in the description box below. And I can't wait to start playing with the foam and seeing what I can make for flowers. And I think it's going to be super exciting. So thank you all for watching and I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Bye for now.